this conversation was going to be something completely different, but I was online. I was looking at some things. I was looking around the neighborhood. I'm watching construction and stuff like that go up. And I'm saying to myself, you know, as far as the black community, you know, we we really don't own much. You know, I see people with restaurants. I see people, you know, with, uh, you know, you know, different type of events that they put on and stuff that they do. And and I look from city to city, and I know there are black people that own stuff out there and, and do things. But, you know, especially here in New York, there's a lot of, you know, consumerism that happens from the black community. I'm not saying that there's not black businesses in New York or all across the country. It's just that there's more of a consumer mindset from the black. We're one of the biggest consumers as far as you know, the money goes in the community. We're quick to go out there and buy the nice things. And it bothers me, you know, it, it, it bothers me with the black community, you know, that we don't have more financial literacy, that we don't have, you know, more of an emphasis on, you know, um, financial, you know, economic empowerment. You know, I mean, like I said, live your life, do what you do, live how you live. But, you know, there's a lot of people who don't have, you know, money in the bank or, you know, who may be, you know, depending on public assistance or some people with Section 8 still or, you know, folks that have to be in low-income housing. And it, it it really bothers me. Like, in my neighborhood alone, you know, one of the few black-owned businesses, as you could guess, is a liquor store. But meanwhile, you know, you have people of different, you know, persuasions and, you know, races and stuff like that who own property, who own you know, uh, bodegas, you know, they own car dealerships, you know, they own factories and you look around and it's hard pressed to find any people of color, you know, black at least, you know, that own anything. And I'm not saying anything against folks who, you know, are of a different persuasion, you know, or a different race that, that do that. It's just that it bothers me that I don't see enough black owned businesses. It, it, it really does. You know, and, and like I said, I can encourage people, you know, of the black community, you know, to, you know, go out there and be more financially aware, to be more financially literate and sound, you know, to go to your local bank and find out what's going on there, to just take time out to, you know, figure out how to use a balance sheet, you know, to, you know, uh, properly, you know, organize your bills and sit down with your tax professional and, you know, begin to, you know, get financially literate, even because, um, you know, economic empowerment is, is a big thing, you know, and what you do with your money, you know, not just spending it on material stuff. Like I said, I don't want to be preachy to the choir or anything like that, but it really, really bothers me when I when I go out there and I see how as black people, we're some of the biggest consumers of products, but not really the, the you know, biggest producers or, you know, um, owners of you know different types of things out there i mean like i said you have ball players you have rappers you know you have actors you have people in entertainment but i don't see a lot of you know people of color actually standing out there you know on just on a basic level you know actually you know talking about economic empowerment and i say this because like i said i was online and i'm looking at different stuff and i'm seeing different rappers and entertainers and ball players you know, running to the strip club and showing fancy cars and foreign cars and things that they've done. And it, it's it's wild. It's wild. I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's Black History Month or the Super Bowl, whatever the case may be. This sounds maybe more like a rant. It just, it just bothers me. It bothers me that as black people, we don't take enough time to f focus on financial li literacy and economic empowerment and building up of the community. If, if any time, if, if anything you hear, most of the time you hear about, you know, the black on black violence or somebody selling drugs or, you know, some issue that may have happened in a position where, you know, um, tearing down the neighborhood or something like that. I mean, and there's things that black people do. There are folks out there that try to help the community and stuff like that. But something got to change, man. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't have all the answers, but some of the things that I'm seeing online, you know, some of the stuff that's out there in the world, I'm just saying, wow, we can consume everything, but how much do we actually produce? How much do we actually benefit our own community and the community at large? You know, just my thoughts.